I'm just I'm in the process of um, queuing up a couple more videos. So, and um, in the meantime, I'm doing some little quiz videos, and this one's going to be uh, about pirates. Cause that's my thing. I don't know why I just did that. Uh, so I have three quizzes pulled up here. So we're uh, we are going to start which with the how we're going to start with which Pirates of the Caribbean character are you? Why would I want to buy Cars Three? If the Pirates life is for you, you've probably spent some time wondering which Pirates of the Caribbean movie character you are. Are you witty like Jack, brave like Will Turner, or mysterious like Tia Dalma? If you come here seeking answers, we've got a pirate map, also known as this quiz, to help you find out. Savvy. All right, let's ship. If I was stranded on a desert island, I would bring a compass, sword, powder wig, or map. Sword, obviously. The name of my ship would be the Interceptor, the Black Pearl, the Flying Dutchman, or Queen Anne's Revenge. Queen Anne's Revenge! Why is Jack's rum gone? Jack's arm is always gone. Jack the monkey took it. It's gone. Where did it go? It's a vile drink anyway. Uh, Jack's rum is always gone. My signature. <laughs> My signature catchphrase is, Savvy, that's not good enough. They're more like guidelines anyway, or do you fear? I go around saying that all the time. Uh, they're more like guidelines anyway. <laughs> um, I'm an RA at my, uh, I was an RA at my school's residence hall, and I had, uh, we have bulletin boards that we have to make, and I did one for the laundry room, and so I did laundry rules, and I had a little, like, a meme that I printed out on the board, and it said, um, they're more like guidelines. <laughs> I would evade capture by devising a plan first, then attacking, using magic, running away as fast as possible, or tricking the enemy before a surprise attack. I would probably just, I'd devise a plan. Um, to pass time in a jail cell, I would dream of my love, look for a way to get out, wait for my crew to rescue me, me in jail, doubtful. <laughs> That's more likely than you think. Uh, look for a way to get out. My shipmates would describe me as cunning, ruthless, brave, or wise. Wise. I'm very wise. Uh, my weapon of choice is a sword, my wits, a cannon, a kraken, <laughs> a sword. <laughs> Finish the lyric, yo-ho, yo-ho, oh, who cares, what is this nonsense? Bad luck to sing pirate songs, a pirate's life for, pirate's life for me, obviously. The thing I'm searching for most in the world is my freedom, Elizabeth, <laughs> adventure, eternal life. Uh, I would kill for Elizabeth Swan, but I'm going to say adventure. You're Elizabeth Swan. From being the governor's daughter to a pirate captain, you can do anything you set your mind to. You're headstrong and never conform to expectations. You take charge in any situation and hold your own despite crazy circumstances. That's me! <sighs> Next quiz I'm taking is what kind of pirate are you? What's your role? Steering slash navigating the ship, cooking the meals, fixing things in general maintenance, manning the case. Manning the cannons, yeah. I'm terrible at navigation. Some of your enemies surrender during the last battle. You take them prisoner and try to get a ransom, make them walk the plank, or let them go. Probably, I'd probably let them go, if I'm being honest with myself. Alright. Can you swim? Of course, I'm a great swimmer. Yes, I'm okay at it. Does the doggy paddle count? Not even a little. I am an amazing swimmer. I used to be on the swim team. My mom was a swim instructor, so I swam a lot as a, as a young, youngin, as a young bean. God, I hate myself. Pick a location for your hideout. Ooh, ooh. I like all of these. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go with this one. Actually, no, no, this one. This one. The one with the, the metropolis. What's your pirate pet? Parrot, monkey, shark, dolphin, or snake? Snake! 
blessings. Alright, your crew is planning a mutiny. You start being nice to them, feed them to my pet sharks, escape in the night. I would escape in the night. Although my crew would never mutiny because I'm the best captain ever. Uh, let's see here. What's your favorite beach activity? Swimming or surfing, playing in the sand, getting a tan, relaxing in the shade, or taking a stroll? Swimming! Uh, pick a sea creature. Kraken, a giant octopus slash squid. Leviathan, a massive sea sur serpent. Mermaid, half human, half fish. Mermaid! What's the best treasure? Golden jewels, expensive food and drinks, smiles, or rare artwork? Golden jewels. I mean, I'd probably spend it on food and drink, but... How often do you drink? All the time, sometimes, rarely, sometimes. I wouldn't call it rare, but I don't, I don't go out that often. Um, click to get your result. You are a greedy pirate. <laughs> no amount of booty is enough for you. You'll scour the world, stealing every single gold coin along the way. That's true. I love the booty. And now, the last one. Which pirate are you most like? Okay, so... Let's see here. What is your age? I am 18 to 24. What is your gender? Female. You are marooned on an island. What is the one thing you would ask to have with you? A pistol or maybe some rum? Anything that I can use to make a fire? Nothing, as long as my loved ones are safe. I would never be marooned. It just ain't gonna happen. Uh, one thing I would ask to have with me... I guess a pistol. Uh, what kind of girl or guy attracts you most? There's only one love in my life, and he or she is perfect. Does it really matter? A daring person who gets in trouble a lot? I'm not one for romance, seeing as I'm unable to feel anything. Uh, a daring person who gets in trouble a lot. The King's Navy is chasing after you. What did you do? I helped steal a ship to save the one I love. I ran away from home. What didn't I do? I just blew up a few houses, looted a few mansions, nothing big. Uh, I would say, what didn't I do? <laughs> you run into a past love, how do you react? Slap. Ow, not the face! Oh, hi, nice to see you again. Single? No, I'm taken. Uh, do I know you? Oh, right. Well, have a nice day. All my past loves are dead, so I'd freak out if I ran into one of them. Um. Ow. I guess I'd slap him, probably. Depends on the eggs. Your boat sinks. What do you do? Pout and cry to your daddy? <laughs> I bet that one's Steve Bonnet. <laughs> Steal a new, even better one? Go and try to retrieve it so you can fix it yourself. I don't have a boat. I have a ship. I'll go with that one, because that's... Like, I read your boat sinks, and my brain immediately went ship. So... <laughs> Uh, what is your weapon of choice? A pistol, an oar, a sword, a corset. What? <laughs> a sword. What is your favorite color? Red, green, gold, black, or other? Out of all these, gold. Love me a good gold. Uh, what would you have as a pet? A monkey, a parrot, a donkey, or a dog? A dog! Obviously. Status. Good. Good but a little evil. Neutral. Evil with a little good. Evil. I'd say neutral. I'm pretty neutral. Uh, where do you go to relax? To the shop. I'm most relaxed when I'm working. The local bar or any place that sells alcohol. I sit in bed and daydream. I go to my cabin and count my loot. The local bar. Do you have the courage and fortitude to follow orders and stay brave in the face of danger and almost certain death? Uh, let's see here. Well, that doesn't make sense at all. I'm disinclined to acquiesce to your request. Well, you just proved you're mad. Shut up! Ugh. Shut up! Submit answers. Who am I? Jack Sparrow. I mean, okay. You march to your own drummer, and you aren't afraid to be yourself. You face challenges with a positive attitude and can bring out the humor in even the stickiest situations. People love to hang out with you, savvy. Oh, okay. So it was going by Pirates of the Caribbean. I thought it meant like actual pirates. <laughs> um, let me see if hold on, let me see if there's a quiz. Which famous pirate are you? 
Alright, which skill is most important in your adventure on the high seas? Combat, tactics, ability to instill fear, navigation, or negotiation? Negotiation. Which country would you rather live in? England, Wales, or Ireland? Ireland. Uh, let's see. Ha. Which of these monikers would you rather be known as? Witty Jack, Hellcat, Blackbeard, Black Bart, or The Terrible? That's what most people call me. <laughs> the Terrible. Just terrible. Uh, which of these flags most appeals to you? That'll let me a good black beard. How did you become a pirate? Through an apprenticeship by another famous pirate. Joined the crew through disguise. Through election when the old captain was killed. I was literally born on a pirate ship. I'm no pirate. I'm a legal privateer. Through an apprenticeship. It's my dream. My dream job. Which of these would you like to be your pirate claim to fame? The most successful pirate ever with the most captured ships, succeeded at piracy despite the discrimination against my kind, retrieval of countless artifacts, one of only two pirates to retire without being punished, or most notorious pirate in history. Ooh. Ooh. I think two and five, I'm tied between. I guess I want to be the most notorious pirate. How would your crew describe you? Ambitious, independent, bold, amiable for a pirate, unpredictable and eccentric. Unpredictable and eccentric. That's me. Let's see here. What's your piratical style? Uh, camp somewhere busy and loot everyone who passes. It's about the damage I do to my enemies. Save my effort for the big prizes. Capture many smaller ships. Gonna camp somewhere and let everyone loot everyone who passes. Uh, that's what they did in Charleston. Because Charleston, where I live, it's a peninsula, so it goes like this, and you have the Ashley River and the Cooper River. So someone can just kind of hide out here. There's a bunch of um, sea islands around the edge, so you can just camp out here. And someone, people are coming in and out of port, and you just sail out of nowhere, and you capture them. Boom! It's actually uh, next year will be the 300th anniversary of Blackbeard's blockade of Charlestown. Fun facts: I'm going to be having a very big party for that. Uh, what kind of pirate look do you sport? An intimidating scowl that scares my enemies. Expensive clothes, doesn't matter as long as it's disguised. What adjective? Rock and roll. I, I like that one. Get some leather in there, get some chains. Got the... <laughs> Lord. Lastly, what's the name of your ship? The Revenge, the Black Pearl, the Queen Anne's Revenge, the Satisfaction, the Royal Fortune. Uh, the Revenge. Fun fact, uh, both Steed Bonnet and uh, Blackbeard had the name Revenge in their ships. Steed Bonnet was the Revenge and Blackbeard was the Queen Anne's Revenge. Because he was a privateer in Queen Anne's War. Anne was a good old girl. She was a nice lady. Yes! I'm Blackbeard! Yar! You are Edward Blackbeard Teach, baby! Anchors away, although fear, fuck you. Although fear, you spurn the use of violence or prefer to use different tactics to achieve your goals. Yeah, fun fact, Blackbeard actually was not a very vicious pirate. And he wasn't very successful by most standards. Uh, he's, his adventures have been like, you know, replicated in popular media, but he didn't actually do that much as far as like most pirates went. And he really preferred trickery. like. Um, when he blockaded Charleston, he captured a bunch of hostages, and he was like, hey, give us some medicine. So he needed, uh, he needed mercury because all of his crew had syphilis. Um, and the saying goes, uh, you know, a single night with Venus guarantees a lifetime with mercury because mercury was used to cure syphilis. So, um, so Blackbeard was like, hey, give us the medicine and we'll go away. And they gave him the medicine and he let everyone go. Like, you'd think that the vicious Blackbeard would kill all the hostages after he got what he wanted, but no, he was, um, he was a good guy. He was, and he, he was also, um, he was apprenticed to Benjamin Hornigold, who later received a pardon and then turned traitor and started working for the Crown to kill all the pirates. Thanks, dude.
Anyway, I've actually been thinking, um, tell me if this is a good idea, I've been thinking of doing some videos, like a, a video series where I get, it's like drunk history, but specifically about pirates. Or any, like, specifically Charleston. Because I, you know, living here, I have the ability to go to the sites where some of these things happened and film my videos there, which would be really cool um, if I had the right equipment. But, I don't know, I think that would be a fun thing to do. And, um, and if, if you have never watched Drunk History, first of all, why? Second of all, go watch it right now because it's really amazing. It's so funny and it's great. Um, that's literally, my dream is just to get paid to get drunk and talk about history. I was actually thinking I'd want to do it with my friend Chelsea because we both work at the Powder Magazine, so we're both history people. And she's really cool, she's really fun and nice and I love her and she's literally like my favorite person in the world. Um, so, so yeah, let me know if you think that would be fun to do, if that's something you'd like to see from me. Um, and that's all I got for ya. Uh, I hope you have a lovely day.